Welcome to Pioneer's Knowledge Hub. Scene Script Have you ever wondered how birds fly across the ocean? In the grand tapestry of nature, few phenomena are as awe-inspiring as the migration of birds. These avian adventurers embark on journeys that span thousands of miles, often traversing vast and unforgiving oceans. The challenges they face are immense. From relentless storms to the relentless pursuit of nourishment, each migration is a testament to their incredible resilience. Birds have been perfecting this art of travel for millions of years. Whether it's the tiny hummingbird, zipping from North America to Central America, or the mighty albatross, circumnavigating the globe, each species has its unique migratory story. It's a spectacle that leaves us humans in utter amazement. How do they do it? How do these seemingly fragile creatures manage to overcome such daunting distances and harsh conditions? How do they find their way, and where do they rest? So, how do these small and delicate creatures manage such a challenging journey? Let's dive deeper into the science of bird migration. Understanding bird migration first requires understanding the science of bird flight. Birds have engineered a way to master the sky through millions of years of evolution. One of the key features in their flight capability is their unique bone structure. Birds have hollow bones which are not only lighter but also stronger than the solid bones of mammals. This combination of strength and lightness allows birds to stay airborne for extended periods. Feathers too play an essential role in flight. They are not just for show. A bird's feathers are carefully designed to catch and control the air. The primary feathers at the tip of the wing create lift, while the secondary feathers closer to the body provide stability. Each feather is a miniature wing creating lift and reducing drag. They can be adjusted independently, allowing birds to maneuver with precision. The shape of a bird's wing is also vital. Different birds have different wing shapes depending on their lifestyle. For example, birds that need to fly long distances like migratory birds have long narrow wings that allow them to glide efficiently. On the other hand, birds that need to navigate through dense forests have shorter rounded wings for quick maneuvering. But birds don't do it all on their own. They also use the environment to their advantage. Birds ride on thermals, which are columns of rising warm air. By circling inside a thermal, a bird can gain altitude without flapping its wings. This helps them conserve energy during long flights. Wind currents also play a crucial role. Birds often migrate along set wind patterns using the wind to help push them along their journey. So, the science of bird flight is a combination of biological adaptations like hollow bones, feathers, and wing shape, as well as environmental factors like thermals and wind currents. Each element works in harmony enabling these creatures to perform the incredible feat of flight. But flight is just one part of the equation. Now that we know how birds fly, let's explore how they navigate and rest during their long journeys. Birds don't have GPS, yet they manage to find their way across vast oceans. How do they do it? Well, let's delve into the world of bird navigation. It's a fascinating realm of instinct, biology, and the natural world's mind-boggling complexity. Birds, it seems, have their own inbuilt compasses that allow them to navigate the globe. One widely accepted theory is that they can sense the Earth's magnetic field. This magnetic sense, akin to an internal compass, allows them to stay on course even when flying over featureless waters. In addition to this, visual landmarks also play a crucial role. Birds are known to use mountains, rivers, and forests as reference points during their journey. When they fly over oceans, they may use islands or even cloud formations as landmarks. And let's not forget the celestial bodies. Just as ancient mariners used the stars to navigate the seas, birds too, seem to use the sun and stars for orientation. During the day, the position of the sun can guide them, while at night, they may rely on star patterns. Moreover, some birds might even use their sense of smell to find their way, picking up on scents carried by the wind from far off lands. Yet all these theories are still being studied and confirmed. It's an ongoing journey of discovery for us humans. With their remarkable navigation skills, birds can find their way across thousands of miles. But what about rest? How do they manage fatigue during such long flights? Imagine flying for days on end without a break. Sounds impossible, right? Not for birds. These winged wonders possess an extraordinary ability to rest and refuel during their long and arduous migration journeys. Now you might be wondering, how do they manage to rest while soaring thousands of feet above the ground? The answer is as fascinating as it is unexpected. Some birds have the uncanny ability to sleep while in flight. Yes, you heard it right, sleep while flying. They do it by engaging in what's known as unihemispheric slow-wave sleep, a fancy term for sleeping with one eye open. 
In this state one half of the bird's brain remains alert while the other half gets some much needed shut eye. This allows them to keep on course and avoid any potential threats, all while catching up on their beauty sleep. But not all birds can sleep on the wing. Many species make pit stops along their migratory routes to rest and refuel. These pit stops known as stopover sites are crucial for the survival of migratory birds. They offer a chance for the birds to replenish their energy reserves which get depleted during the strenuous journey. Birds feast on a buffet of insects, seeds and berries, packing on the pounds to fuel the next leg of their journey. Stopover sites are not just roadside diners for our feathered friends, they are also places of social interaction where birds can mix and mingle with others of their kind. These gatherings can be quite the spectacle, with hundreds, sometimes thousands of birds filling the skies. The importance of these stopover sites cannot be overstated, they are critical for the success of bird migration. Unfortunately many of these sites are under threat due to habitat loss and climate change. It's a stark reminder that we need to do our part to protect these vital habitats for our avian allies. Through a combination of flight skills, navigation abilities and rest strategies birds pull off the incredible feat of migration. It's truly a testament to the wonders of nature. So there we have it, the remarkable journey of birds as they fly across the ocean. It's a marvel of nature, how these creatures master the science of flight, using their wings and air currents to cover vast distances. Their exceptional navigation skills, relying on stars, Earth's magnetic field, and landmarks, guide them on their path. And let's not forget their ingenious rest strategies mid-flight, which allow them to refuel without even touching the ground. Next time you see a bird soaring in the sky, remember the remarkable journey it might be on and the amazing abilities it possesses to complete that journey. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.